All right, welcome back to another Pikmin 2 No Death stream, everybody. We just have 51 treasures left. We're on day 19, and if all goes well, we'll be able to clear the last three dungeons and therefore everything in the game in this in-game day. Now, whether we can cover that all in this stream remains to be seen, because even if we only have, um... Even if we only have the three dungeons left, they're the three longest and toughest dungeons in the entire game, bar none. So... It's possible that we could beat everything this stream, but I'm not <laughs> not betting my life on it. A lot can happen in these last three dungeons, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, my my optimistic goal is finish the game this stream, at least finish the story this stream, but we still have challenge mode after that that I want to, that I want to play. Realistically, I'll beat two dungeons, but I probably won't be able to beat the third. But, well, I guess it depends on how long I feel like streaming today, because maybe I'll go for a longer stream than usual. <laughs> nice to see you, Simpsons R Us. Welcome. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, fast Zelda video... Fast Zelda randomizers are always a lot of fun. And nice, uploaded more videos. Cool. Alright. We're off in the Cavern of Chaos. The first of three Wistful Wild Dungeons. It's also the easiest and the shortest. But it also has probably the toughest boss in the game at the end of it, so... We'll just see how this goes. Alright. Right off the bat. <laughs> we got bombs and careening dirigi bugs and electricity. I also think a good way to start this will be punching all the bomb rocks. Because I, sh I sure don't want my Pikmin dealing with these. And nice, the bomb rocks actually uh, destroy the electric fence for me. That's great. Okay, I hate I hate the fact that the Kareening Dirigi bug is just hanging out near here. All right. Make sure no Pikmin drown. Good, there we go. Ooh, a cupcake. Yes, please. I definitely want that treasure. Oh, the Pikmin will definitely be stupid this stream, but... Well, I'm expecting that. Ooh. It's got an almond on top of that cupcake. The the animal buster. <laughs> Different kind of buster. Alright, so the first sub level's not too bad. Nothing that we haven't seen before. Then again, I also think that we've seen every enemy in the game at this point. Outside of the bosses. Wow! You know, I'll take it. Enemies killing each other? Yes, please. Alright, when two Kareening Dirigi Bugs are next to each other, that's where fins can go awry. Oh yeah, bomb rocks off the bat, absolutely. Game pulls no punches at this point in the story. Oh sweet, he didn't get to pull out a bomb rock. Nice job, Pikmin Brothers. Okay, let's let's maybe get away from the bomb rock. Oh, I think the yellow Pikmin can actually reach his balloons to pop them. Guaranteed, instead of just hoping that they get popped. Nice. Alright. First sub level's going by pretty well. I think that's the only other treasure. We got 51 treasures left in the game, and they're between three dungeons, so. I'm anticipating one or two treasures per floor. Because we got a lot of floors to go through. 85 Pokos. The Murph Sphere. Yes, when I look at this, I think Murph. Cool. Sub level 1 was pretty easy. At least for this point of the game.
Why were they making all those sounds? Cavern of Chaos sub level 2. Uh, I think I'm happy with the amount of sound alerts I have right now. Okay, I was afraid of some Pikmin had fallen off a cliff or something. Oh boy, Fiery Bulbwax. Oh great, Fiery Bulbwax. Alright, well let's take out the easy- the fi nice thing about Fiery Bulbwax is-, is <laughs> He threw off the Pikmin, but then died anyways. The nice thing about the Fiery Bulbwax is, is that they will not wake up until you attack them. So we can ignore them for now, but I guarantee you one of them is going to have a treasure, and only f only the red Pikmin will be able to actually attack them. There we go. Oh wow, that white Pikmin almost met an untimely demise. Let's not do that. Yikes, how many fiery bulwaxes are there? I see at least three. And another swooping snitch bug over there. Okay, one of one of the fiery bulwaxes at least will have a treasure. So I'm gonna figure out which one it is, and then we're going to bitter spray him, and then use a red use red Pikmin. This is where that treasure detector comes in handy. All right. Omar, you take the red Pikmin. No. Not the white Pikmin. Okay. That one's got a treasure. It's not a stream unless the garage door opens at least eight times. Alright. Wow, I, ha I had to press that Bitter Spray button like five times for it to actually work. But there we go. He's dead. We can bring that back. And we got a pile of Nectar, which is great. Choo-choo! Some enemies are worth Bitter Spraying, and Fiery Bulb Waxes are definitely among that uh, list. Oh, you didn't hear the garage door open? Ah, that's okay. That's good. It means my headset doesn't pick it up. The Gem Star Wife. <laughs> I think we had the Gem Star Husband, and now it's the Gem Star Wife. They match. 100 Pokos. Alright, there's still another. Does that mean we'll have to bitter spray another Fiery Bull Wax? Sure enough. Nice job, gentlemen. Now bring that back to base and don't run right on top of the fiery bolt wax. And there we go. That's right. My my streaming headset, I forget it doesn't it usually doesn't pick up the garage door opening, but my blue yeti microphone absolutely does. All right, here we go. Ooh, we're getting all the gemstones this dungeon. The essence of despair. It's, that's an emerald! What's so despairing about an emerald? Oh, great! Another treasure? Do I literally have to kill all three of these guys? That's gonna put a damper on my bitter spray count. I don't like that. Well, that's a, li that's a little bit of a shame. I, I still have 17 Bitter Sprays, but I used three of them on this one floor, because those Fiery Bulwaxes are basically impossible to deal with, unless you've got, like, an obscene amount of red Pikmin, and or usually just a Bitter Spray. I think you basically need a, either a Bitter Spray or a Spicy Spray. Oh boy, 100 Pokos. The Frosty Bobble. Very nice. Okay, there we go. That's the last treasure. That was a lot of treasures on that floor. 
Oh, I'm, I'm excited for new stream series as well. Oh, what the heck? That one blue Pikmin somehow did not get a flower. Really? Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 3. So far, so good. Hopefully we won't encounter very many more fiery bulblaxes. Alright. Here. You stay behind with them. Olimar will try triggering as many of these traps as he can. And I don't like how many flowers there are here. Flowers can only mean one thing. Creeping chrysanthemums. There's no way I'm getting through this whole stream without resetting. No way. I, I know the horrors that await us. There you go, Blue Pikmin. It's all for you. Keep the other one around in case we inevitably lose some Pikmin. All right. I just want purple Pikmin. Red Pikmin, I guess, wouldn't be terrible, but I just want purple Pikmin. All right. Can't really see. Okay, so that's just regular sunflowers. No, wait, what? That sure looked like just regular sunflowers, but I guess not. So how did that red Pikmin sneak in here? Oh, thank goodness, a bitter spray. I specifically told you, you couldn't come. <laughs> yeah, I've updated the list of games that I'm planning on streaming in the future, because I got some new ideas. Or rather, I had some ideas for a while, but just never actually wrote them down. Okay. Maybe all of these are Creeping Chrysanthemums. Nice job, purples. Wow. I can't believe you didn't die from that. I can't believe you didn't get stunned from any of that. That's very unlucky. <laughs> I knew it. I'm like, I, I bet a rock's gonna fall from that. Sure enough, it did. Okay, we definitely want to make sure our purples stay uh, flowered, because purples that are leaves are absolutely cannon fodder, and will probably die extremely quickly, because they can't move. I see that... Okay, so this is just the floor of Creeping Chrysanthemums, then. You can tell when it's a Creeping Chrysanthemum. See, the, there are those eyeballs in the flower. And they're blinking at me. Thankfully, we've got our elite army of purple Pikmin to help us. Nope. Okay, I don't like that. I don't want the Mamuta showing up to help out the Creeping Chrysanthemum. Nice job. The Mamutas can help us, but they can definitely uh, they can definitely cause issues if you're fighting other enemies alongside them. Uh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> All these complicated questions that are being asked. I can tell you my favorite episode of Recess is The Voice. The one where, like, everyone discovers Mikey can sing, but only in the bathroom. That's, like, <laughs> such a good episode. Ooh, spicy spray. Nice. Omar. Dismiss the Pikmin, and get over here. Come on, push him. 
This is way harder to do if once you have the boot upgrade. Come on, destroy him. Jeez, these guys keep, keep, keep taking me by surprise, even though there is a distinctive tell. No! The stupid sunflowers were blocking the shadow. I couldn't see it until it was too late. That's fine. It's not a tough floor. It's just way too many creeping chrysanthemums. Well, no, not getting through this no resets. Didn't think I would. I reference fast food in my videos all the time. It's not just Taco Bell. Our first of many. Yeah, the, they need... They really needed to find new dungeon gimmicks and not just like, Hey, everybody loves random falling rock traps and volatile dweevils. Let's just spam them every bear. Every bear. Oh, no. Move away. I don't want to deal with more than one at a time. You get out of there. Nice job, purples. Rats, there goes my bitter and my spicy. It's not good. It's weird that sometimes the stun just does not work. Like, purple Pikmin are supposed to stun when they land, or at least with like a 25% chance, so if you chuck 20 purple Pikmin, they should get stunned pretty quickly, but apparently that's not always how it works. Here, let's take these back. Just to get him out of the way, that's fine. Does the amount of people that join Twitch chat depend on the time of the day, the day of the week, or what game you're playing? I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it. It also just depends on whether the people who usually join my chat feel like watching a stream that day or not. I don't particularly care. My stream, I mainly stream just because I find it fun. If people join in chat, then great. But I'm not pressuring anybody to do so. All right, Mr. Mimuta. I know you're just trying to help me by giving my guys flowers, but you're going to pound me near the Creeping Chrysanthemum, and I don't like that. Boom shakalaka. Purple Pikmin for the win. ready for that this time. Ooh, a potato! The greatest treasure of all. 
Yeah, you get that back to base. Alright, we can break down this gate. I say potato. Oh yeah, look at that potato. It's so good. 40 Pocos. We got the child of the earth. <laughs> an interesting name for a potato. All purple Pikmin. No squawking. You gotta, you gotta help out. Are there any more creeping chrysanthemums? Thanks for making all my purples flowers. I just know there's going to be some weird rock that shows up. Maybe, maybe not. Here, you guys carry that back to base. You'll do it real quickly. Wow, look at how fast white Pikmin work. They got tiny arms, but they, they're still... they're quick. Cha. Take me home, country roads. I love that the first two floors we or the first floor we had a cupcake and a marble. The second floor we had a bunch of jewels. Now this floor is like we got vegetables. <laughs> it's like what kind of cave is this? Okay. Mmm, bell pepper. It's the worst kind though. Red bell pepper is the best. Infernal vegetable. Yeah. Green bell, pep green bell peppers are too bitter. And I, I appreciate you showing up for every stream. Just know, there's no pressure to do so. You can do so if you want to, but... You won't make me sad if you don't show up. Like, you're allowed to do other stuff, too, as well. The game has been saved. Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 4. Yuck! All that water! Deku Palace without Deku Mask. That's impressive. This is why I wanted to go in with 20 of everything. Because, well, we had a floor that had a bunch of fiery bulwaxes, and now it's... Oh, I remember this floor! This floor has a lot of bomb rocks, but in a rare instance, I'm actually not going to destroy the bomb rocks, because they can, we can actually use them to our advantage on this level, on this sub-level. This floor has a lot of Emperor Bulwaxes. You know, that one boss from the Bulwax Kingdom who we killed really easily. However, they like to stay in water, which is not great. We can't use Purple Pikmin to just murder them. Okay. Well, if we didn't have 100 Pikmin, I would take advantage of that. Ooh! It's a used ketchup uh, packet. Okay. Gotta do this smartly. Okay. President, you keep track of all the Pikmin. Olimar. Well, let's see. We don't need... There's only one... Okay, it's just this one that we need to kill. So here we go. We just need to kill this guy. So what we're going to do is, as Olmar, we're going to lure him away. And we're going to lure him on land and have him eat a bomb rock. That's what I want him to do, anyways. Beautiful. 
So now that's going to stun him for a bit. And our Pikmin will be phenomenally stupid and drown themselves. Wow! My Pikmin literally went out of their way to A, not attack him, and B, drown themselves. Like, I can't believe that. My yellow Pikmin made a beeline just for the water when I didn't tell him to do anything. My purple Pikmin blatantly did not attack its face and just skid into the water. And then my blue Pikmin just sat there and let them drown. Blue Pikmin are kind of supposed to save your regular Pikmin who are drowning. So much for that. It didn't help that the Bulbox just did not want to leave the water area. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, that guy, that's the guy with the treasure. That's good. So the randomized dungeon was a little nicer to us this time. This, this, these dungeons in Wistful Wild will be the dungeons where it's like, you need... You really just need the dungeon to be not randomized terribly. There are a couple sub levels where it's like, if you get a bad roll of the dungeon, then tough luck. Alright, let's, let's kill this guy quickly. This way, buddy. Okay. There we go. There we are. That wasn't too hard, now was it? Now we're gonna go around and blow up these bomb rocks because that will be di that will be difficult. Will there be deaths in the sub level? Well, um, there already has been. I reset if we have death in the sub levels. We also need the catch-up packet wherever it is. Oh, catch-up packet's all the way over there. Cool. Oh wait, there's another guy in the way. That guy's gonna be in the way of the catch-up packets, but I think he'll be fine. We can kill him without the bomb rocks. Lobster claw. Let's take that back. Emperor Bulblax Corpse, let's definitely take that back as well. This is a very interesting treasure right here. 150 Pokos for a Lobster Claw. The Mysterious Remains. Remember this treasure. That one actually is going to be important later on. <laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome. It's it's a weird... It's a, it's a real-time strategy game. That's all you really need to know. Okay. No, okay, why did they not kill him? When I fought him in the Bulbox Kingdom, I just tossed all my purples on top of him and they just murdered him, but they didn't do it that time. Where my stupid purples like, no, I'm not gonna get thrown, you're gonna throw the whites instead. Should I have separated people out? Dug on it. Have there been any, any Twitch highlights in 2022? I can't remember. I think there was one. Alright, let's try this again. Oh hey, this time the ketchup packet is right next to the entrance. I like that. I prefer that to having it farther away. That This way maybe we only need to fight one Emperor Bulbwax. Mmm, used ketchup packet. The milk tub. Oh, it's not a ketchup packet, it's a pudding cup? Or the ship's just being weird. 
There's always one. So that's where the end of the cave is. Where is our target? That gray. That's not that great, actually. Alright. Gonna be doing some strategy here. Gonna intentionally push this bomb rock so that when I blow it up, it'll destroy these fire geysers. Because I don't want my Pikmin burning alive. There we go! Fire geysers down. This is a bad roll. I literally I have to kill this guy who's in the water. That's annoying. Is it a yogurt? I don't know. It looked it looked exactly like those fast food ketchup containers. All right, maybe we can separate our Pikmin in such a way that we can actually separate them and whistle for just the purples. That includes you. Alright. So, to me, it's it really seems like we're going to have to kill this guy if we want to kill the other one, because they're just too close together, so... Why are my purples not killing him? I had 20 purples in the Bulwax Kingdom, just tossed them on his face, and they killed him, no problem. Why? Oh, wait, I spicy sprayed them first, that's why. I don't want to really waste a spicy spray. It's not that crazy that you have 5,000 arty bucks. You've been watching all of my streams for the last few weeks. They add up. At least that guy will be easier to deal with. Yay, milk tub again. That's not a yogurt. The yogurt containers are bigger than that. Wow, Pikmin can be stupid. Thank goodness it was the blue pigmen that are like, let's go to the water. Alright. So we'll let this guy eat the bomb rock. Um. Dude, that's clearly not working. There we go. No, he's still in the water, doggone it. Why are my purple Pikmin bouncing off him like it's a trampoline? Cool. Purple Pikmin, you did the job. Now we can have our blue Pikmin carry it back. It is a lot harder to kill enemies on water than when they're on land. Um, are my blue Pikmin actually going to pick it up? Are you guys seeing this? My Pikmin are so stupid they don't even know how to pick something up. Only after they picked it up are they like, Oh wait, there's a lot of us here! Wow! Pikmin are phenomenally stupid. Like, I knew that, but like, good lord. That is a level of stupidity I have not seen in a very long time. It's harder to kill enemies in water because you generally need blue Pikmin to do so, otherwise your Pikmin can easily drown. Mysterious remains. Cool. Let's find the exit and get out of here.
I do not care about killing every enemy. I just care about getting all the treasure. Alright, there we go. 